In this segment, we're going to talk about how to make simple food and make it glamorous. We'll do so with celebrity chef and New York restaurant tier Donatella Apea. We will talk to her in just a moment about that. And as you get ready to entertain in the summer, coming summer and spring season, uh, she can tell you how to do it, uh, how to prepare an appetizer and the, the main dish and make all these foods and keep them simple. It's going to be a good lesson for you as you get out there. So get your newspaper or rather your note paper and your pen and pencil handy so you can take some notes of how to create a lot of this drama with food and keep it simple at the same time. Uh, we'll do so with this New York celebrity chef uh, and an expert. She's got a new cookbook that's come out now and we're ready to talk to her about it and we will do so in just a second. Uh, there are all sorts of things in terms of a spring menu like baked figs and other kinds of things that are easy to prepare, salmon and even caviar uh, that will look glamorous to you but easy to prepare and Donatella will tell us all about that. She's uh, uh, got a couple of signature tips and a new cookbook out. You know, I find uh, that cookbooks, when I interview people about this, they tell me cookbooks are some of the highest selling books in the entire nation. And so here's another one to pick from. Also, later in the program, we're going to talk to Robin Miller uh, about similar tips about this. And also later in the program, we're going to bring up uh, the whole issue of the Tea Party protests. You know, the Tea Party has had their big protest on tax day yesterday. And of course, uh, today's show would be remiss if we didn't uh, talk about some of the things that they're doing. We'll do that a little bit later in the program. But first up, uh, we'll go to Donatella Apaya to talk about uh, simple food made glamorous. Hello, Donatella. How are you? Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm doing swell. Now, I I'm already, I'm into appetizers in a big way, and that popcorn looks really good. <laughs> Thank you. It's the truffle oil. It's so addictive. It's one of the things at my restaurant that people love. And you put it in a beautiful glass bowl and all of a sudden it's glamorous. I have a little cheese, a little rosemary, and it's so easy to make. Everyone can make popcorn. Can you make popcorn? I make some of the best popcorn in the world, but I do it the old-fashioned way in a pan. Let me tell you, I, I love popcorn. But I, I, the truffle oil, tell me just a little bit about that, so I want to try that. Truffle oil, you can everywhere. Um, truffles are so expensive, but truffle oil comes in a variety of prices and it just adds a beautiful flavor. So instead of adding butter, mm -hmm. you're adding truffle flavor and it's delicious. Delicious, right. delicious. It works for me. All right, when we're entertaining this spring and summer, what's the best thing to do to welcome people in? Perhaps a drink of some kind? Absolutely. We have to, we have to get the alcohol. <laughs> um, one of my favorite things for entertaining is to use Prosecco. It's a sparkling wine. My favorite is Martini and Rossi. It's really reasonable. It's wonderful. And I love to create a signature cocktail by pouring and adding a little black currant liqueur cassis in my little squeegee bottle. And it's beautiful. It adds great, great flavor to it. And you can use it throughout the meal. You can just put it in a white wine glass. It works really well. I love to give little parting gifts. They come in little bottles, too, so it's a lot of fun. You can put your place card holder there. Well, you're so the hostess with sit. the mostess. I'm a hostess <laughs> with the mostess. It's these little touches that add a lot of glamour, a lot of drama, make your guests feel special, and you're going to have a great time. So let's talk about the food. Okay. So one of my favorite is my caprese. Everyone loves tomato and mozzarella, but I put them on skewers. And you have to buy and season. They're beautiful heirloom tomatoes right now. So just buy the good product, put them on skewers. You don't have to worry about plates and forks and knives. Now, is that Another... a lot of preparation time for that? No, it takes a second. You're putting two tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil. It's so easy. Everything. I'm a busy girl, Chris. I can imagine. I don't have a lot of time. I'll be full by the time. time we get to the main course. <laughs> One, one other favorite hors d'oeuvre, and this is, I, I'm throwing just an hors d'oeuvre party, and that's the way to entertain today a lot of times, is salmon. Everyone, lo everyone has salmon, but it's usually so boring. But I, bu I bought some salmon caviar to add on top. It's so delicious. It's inexpensive. You can find them in all major grocery stores, and it adds a little drama. I'm all, I'm all about adding the glamour. When is the party at your house, and can I get an invite? <laughs> Any time, okay. any time. You have to fly down to New York. I can do that in, in a moment's <laughs> notice if we don't have volcanic ash in the air. Uh, now tell me, how's the economy been on your New York restaurant business? It, it's been tough, but I'm starting to see the light, so it's good. And, you know, this is great because you have to come up with reasonable food. Price is an issue, but you don't have to make people feel like you 
you went cheap. That's the whole idea. So even the cheese, everyone has like a baked cheese or those sweaty cheese cube trays that we see everywhere. And you don't have to do that. Go to your local cheese purveyor, buy gorgeous cheeses, get some artisanal honey. This is a recipe from my book for a pear and cinnamon, com cinnamon compote. It's delicious. Or a baked pecorino. These are all take about five minutes. I'm and what's the name you, of the book, so please? Easy. Donatella Cooks, Simple Food Made Glamorous. All right. Well, uh, you look glamorous and so does the food. Thank, Thank you, you, Donatella. Bye. All right.